That's when it's live. You do something crazy. <laughs> right? Welcome, everybody! Oh my gosh, I am so excited to have you guys. And I am specifically excited because we have an amazing guest with us, Lady Ray J, who is one of my new friends. Just got to spend a couple, probably about half an hour getting to know Lady Ray J. And she has a heart of gold. And so she runs an internet uh, radio station. And it, they do a lot of amazing things. So instead of me trying to re-explain it, I'm going to ask Lady Ray J, tell us, me and our listeners, what it is that you do. Well, hello, my faces. <laughs> As I call everybody on Facebook. And hello. Thank you so much, Jensen, for allowing me this opportunity to share myself with you and your audience. Uh, I am an internet radio station owner and producer. I founded the original KOVLradio.com. We uh, were birthed out of Ferguson, Missouri, when the uprising took place with Mike Brown and a lot of the police brutality and all of that stuff was coming about. The station was developed and I was asked by a friend who was kind of a turn of events that I got into radio many years ago. We've been friends for 30 years and I worked under the famous Bernie Hayes in St. Louis, Missouri when I was at University of Missouri, St. Louis as a counselor and advisor. And he said, if you ever find someone that's interested in radio, you have them come and talk with me. Well, I have found someone that was brought to me by a mutual friend. Hey, Jay. Mm -hmm. And uh, he brought Dallas Jamison to my cubicle and the magic happened. So Dallas got connected with terrestrial or what people know as traditional radio on your radio dial. And years later in 2011, he came back to me and said, I would like for you to co-host a show with me at WGNU here in St. Louis. It was a 9.20 a.m. dial, and I co-hosted a show with him called Dallas During Your Drive every Friday. And that's kind of where my radio career actually started. So I've been doing radio for about eight years at this point, and um, we started the station show at Ferguson. I said, I think I can do this. I know I can do this. So I wanted to be able to control a lot more than I could just by being a producer and co-host. And I started a radio station and TO, KO VL Radio was born. Uh, it went through many branding changes. So let me just say, it's okay to start over and over. Maybe one more time over um, because branding is so important. You know, it's like your vehicle just and you got to make sure that everything is in order so that you can have a smooth ride. And sometimes you get a few little kinks along the way. So we hopefully have worked with our kinks now and we are the original KOVLradio.com. Um, we do a variety of things on our show. So our platform is accessible to the community. We interview celebrities, we interview local talent, we work with promoters and interview them, authors, uh, people that have turned their pain into their purpose and have organizations. And we have talk shows with substance, I would say. Um, there's one in particular that has recently surfaced to do quite a bit. And the the reason why I highlight this one is because, you know, suicide has risen, especially among our young people. And um, unfortunately, the way that this show came about was that this personality, Lady Di is what we call her. Um, she has a show called now Face to Face with Lady Di, Suicide, You've Just Been Served. And it's a way for people to come and express what they're going through, either mental uh, illness like depression. And a lot of people don't realize that it is a mental illness. We're giving a platform to that. 
people that are going through being bullied, even adults being bullied at work, who have employers or supervisors that put them in a position where they feel depressed and they feel upset and hurt. And it's embarrassing, you know, as an adult to express that you're being bullied at work because as an adult, you know, you think I'm big enough to handle this. But people are fragile and they have emotional things and other backstories you don't know about. And when that happens at work and you got to go from home to work daily, that's upsetting. We got a post that someone said, thank you for this show because it saved my life. And that was recent. So our show has not even been on six months yet. Uh, in our talk schedule. And we're very proud of what this show is doing. Um, so we, we give a lot, we have some fun and we talk about some other things. We cover some politics. I am the St. Louis Leg producer, I'm very proud to say, number 350 affiliate of Cheryl Underwood radio show here in St. Louis. And uh, Cheryl and her team cover music, politics, entertainment, um, what's going on in the world, their own perspective, words of the day, musical history. It brings a lot to anchor our show in the mornings. And I'm very happy to be able to do that and be in association with Cheryl Underwood Radio and her team. That is so cool. So as you're going through, as you've created this radio station, as you're helping people figure out how to get over, how to deal with some of this stuff like bullying, um, some of the stuff that happened back in Ferguson, what is the mindset that you, when you're talking to people, when they're going through some of this, what is the mindset they need to be aware of and make sure they don't forget in order to overcome these challenges? Well, one of the things is that, you know, everybody's kind of nervous when they come onto our radio show because we also live stream it and it's broadcasting all over the world. And one of the things that we just tell them to have fun with it, it's okay to be emotional about it. This is a safe place. Um, this is where you can and feel comfortable letting everybody know your truth and accepting it, being accountable for it. And just knowing that this is a non-judgmental zone. And so that's the main thing. We don't want them to feel that they're being judged. And we have so much great support that comes from our viewers and our listeners. So they're able to chime in and make comments and we read the comments comments as a way of supporting and encouraging. And so the biggest takeaway is to know that we are a safe zone and non-judging and that this can always be your home and uh, to express yourself. So that's one of the major takeaways. And I think when you know and feel that you have the type of support, everybody doesn't have support. Everybody doesn't have someone or a group of people, a village, if you will to surround them and support them when they're feeling vulnerable and feeling weak. And so I yeah. think that's the biggest takeaway from our platforms addressing issues like that. Uh, even our Friday Forum on Relationships show, there are some things that come about in relationships, whether they be familiar relationships or significant other relationships, children, parent relationships, or friendships. So those things can be touchy too depending on the situation and that's mm -hmm. also uh, a way to feel good and also talk about some things laugh about some things because we're funny honey we're some funny creatures <laughs> <laughs> i love it and i think that is such a key aspect to changing the world to going out there and making an impact is it's finding that support because yeah. everybody Everybody needs support, whether you're Bill Gates or Joe Schmo down on the side of the road. Like if you don't have support, you're going to flounder. It's going to be hard. That's so one of the things I love about live events 
is it is a community striving together for a common good. Like it is a support group. I'll, usually it's uh, shorter in length, but some of the friendships you've made, I've made a lot of friends at events that continue throughout the years because right. of that support. So I love that. So you're creating a support group uh, all over through your programming, through your channel. Is that what I'm hearing you say? That's exactly what it is. It's a network working opportunity we have so many resources there is a board that we call mind your business and on that board we put everyone's business card their information so that people can have these resources available to them and there may be some that don't want anyone to know that they may need help with certain right. areas we've had vegan chefs on the show and sometimes people don't want you to know that they're trying to diet or that they're trying to do something because they don't know if their level of commitment is going to be judged. You know, I thought you said you were on a diet kind of thing. Or I thought you said you had this type of medical condition. Why are you eating that? We have a tendency to browbeat people on something as simple as just want something healthy. And so if we've got that information available and you kind of might want to take a little screenshot of that business card and say, I found out about you on the original KOVO radio show and I wanted to reach out and talk to you. So that's another way that we give that advertising by making people visible via their postcards or uh, business cards or flyers. So, you know, I have always been a giver and to a fault sometimes. I, you know, I have, I have to admit that. And um, I just want to marry people and concepts together. So that is, that's why I come up with these ideas and I'm like, I I got my producer hat. Maybe I should say my producer crown. Maybe that's <laughs> so I just want to make sure that everyone has the opportunity to be their better best, if that makes sense. Yeah. Oh, I love it. I love it. So what kind of advice would you give someone? Um, so listening to our show, uh, entrepreneur, someone's who's pushing forward, they have a mission, they're driving to make an impact on the world. What would you say is your number one piece of advice that you've used to drive your mission forward, to make a bigger impact in the world through what you're doing? Well, I have to say, uh, I can't credit it to me, but everyone needs a mentor, number one. You need an advisor, number two. And one thing that one of my advisors told me in a book that she wrote, Be Amazing, her name is Dr. Marilyn Scott, so that's a plug for you, Doc. Okay. In her book, Be Amazing, there's one thing that stuck out out of everything that I learned in that book, and it was the ability to fail forward. So that's what I want, solopreneurs, mompreneurs, kidpreneurs, entrepreneurs, you got to be able and, and willing to accept that you will fail forward. Now, what that concept means is, and I added a little bit more to it, fail forward so you don't fall backwards. And that means simply learn from your errors, learn from your mistake, take those life lessons, teachable moments, and put them into your next step. Because you may have 10 steps on level one that you've got to go through before you can go to step two. And then you've got many more steps before you can go to step three. Going from zero to 60, that is not gonna happen unless you're in a car. It's just not. It's gonna take a minute and be patient with yourself. And not only am I talking to you guys, I'm talking to me too. So <laughs> I've had to learn that. I do have, you know, I want it now, I want it right, it's gotta be this, this. And um, it doesn't work that way. Life does not work that way. And I'm kind of glad it doesn't because if it did, there would be so many valuable lessons and people we would have missed along the way. So fail forward so that you don't fall back. 
I absolutely love that. I love the addition. Fail forward so you don't fall back. I think that is amazing. So if someone wanted more information, if they wanted to get to know Lady Ray J a little bit better, how would they do that? Well, you can go to my website, LadyRayJ.com. I'm also on Twitter at Lady Ray J. And I'm also on Facebook under Ray J Johnson and Lady Ray J. So you can find me on all those. LinkedIn, Lady Ray J. Awesome. Continuity. I love it. Well, Lady Ray J, it has been an absolute pleasure and honor to get to know you. Um, thank you for coming on the show. As we're going forward, it, hopefully people will be reaching out in the, it, when they have questions and find out more about kind of what you do and that mission that you're on. So with that said, everybody, thank you for tuning in. We are here to serve. So if there is someone that you know who's on a mission, they want to change the world, they want to go out and make an impact, we'd love the introduction. We'd love to bring them on this show and share their story with the world. So with that said, have a fantastic day, everybody, and we'll see you all later.